All right, here we go. Quiz 12 study guide. Oh, yeah. All right, be quiet. Number one, write the standard equation for the circle. Remember the standard equation for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h and k is the center and r is the radius. So you're given the center at 9, negative 3, and you're given the radius of 8. So the equation would be x and the opposite of x at the center. So x minus 9 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals the radius squared. 8 squared is 64. <clears throat> Number two, I ask you to find the center and the radius of the circle with the equation x plus 8 squared plus uh, y minus 5 squared equals 9. All right, so the center of this circle is going to be at negative 8, 5. And the radius will be equal to the square root of 9. So the radius would be equal to 3. Because remember, this out here, that's r squared. So if your r squared equals 9, and you find the square root of each side, then your radius equals 3. <coughs> Number 3. What is the equation of a circle with a center? The center is at negative 3, negative 3. And passes through the point negative 2, 8. All right, if you're given the center and you're given a point and you're going to write it in standard form, you've got to find the radius. So in order to find the radius, we talked about graphing this. So if you, negative 3, negative 3, negative 2, okay. So if you graph these two points, the center is at negative 3, negative 3. So right there is your center. I'll make it red. And then a point on the graph is at negative 2, 8. So that's negative 2, and 8 would be up here somewhere, right about there. If you connect those two, then that segment represents the radius. And then you turn it into a right triangle. So your vertical leg is going to go from negative 3 to 8, so it's 11 units long. Your horizontal leg goes from negative 3 to negative 2, so it's one unit. The segment that we drew in originally from the red point to the black point represented the radius. So this is a right angle. So 11 squared plus 1 squared equals the radius squared. So 121 plus 1 equals r squared. Now. This, you can stop right here, 122 equals r squared, because you're writing an equation, and all you need is the radius squared. So your equation is going to be x plus 3 squared plus, what's going to go next? y plus 3 squared. And what's going to go out here to the right? 
the 122, because that's where your R squared goes. Number four. What is the equation of a circle with a center of zero, zero? <clears throat> Passes through the point. Negative one, three. Same problem, same concept, same steps, same everything. Your center is at zero, zero. Uh, a point on the graph is at negative one, three. So there's negative one and three. That segment right there represents your radius. Form a right triangle. The hypotenuse is your radius. This is one. Your vertical leg is three. So three squared plus one squared equals the radius squared. So 9 plus 1 equals the radius squared. 10 equals your radius squared. So your equation is going to be x squared, because you're not going to write x minus 0, plus y squared, because you're not going to write y minus 0, equals the radius squared, and the radius squared equals 10. Number five. Number five asks you to write the equation of the locus of all points in the coordinate plane eight units from negative five, negative ten. That's another way of saying write the equation of a circle with a center at negative five, negative ten, and a radius of eight. All right? Write the equation of the locus of all points in the coordinate plane, eight units from a point. Well, they're, telling, they're giving you the center and they're giving you the radius. So it's going to be x plus 5 squared plus y plus 10 squared equals the radius squared. They're telling you that the radius is 8, so 64. That's the equation for all the points, the locus of points that are eight units from negative five, negative ten. Number six. Number six says find the or no it doesn't. It says the diameter has the diameter of a circle has end points at P. Negative 8, negative 7, and Q, 4, 3. <coughs> Question A, find the center of the circle. B, find the radius. If your answer is not an integer, express it in radical form. And C, write an equation for the circle. So all you're given is the end points of the diameter. And hopefully you remember that the diameter goes all the way across the circle. So if you graph these things to get an idea of what's going on in this picture, negative 8, negative 7. Negative 8, negative 7 would be down here. And 4, 3 would be right here. That represents the diameter of a circle. That doesn't help you with writing the equation, does it? What do you know about, what's the relationship between the diameter and the radius? Good, the radius is half, the diameter. 
So wouldn't the radius be at the midpoint of these end points of the diameter? Very good, it would. So if you use the midpoint formula for points P and Q, it'll give you the coordinates of the center. So midpoint formula is when you add the x values together and you divide by 2. So if you do negative 8 plus 4 divided by 2, it'll give you x at the center. So negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So your x at the center is negative 2. Your y at the center is going to be negative 7 plus 3 divided by 2. So negative 7 plus 3 divided by 2. It's negative 2 again. All right, so that's your x and y value at the center. It's going to be right about here. At negative 2, negative 2. So that was, that's the answer to question A, all right? The center, it's at negative 2, negative 2. Question B said to find the radius. Well, if negative 2, negative 2 is your center, then you can take this thing and turn it into a right triangle and follow the steps that you did in previous problems. All right, if you're looking for this, your R, all right, your vertical leg is going to be 5, and your horizontal leg is going to be 6. So 25 plus 36 equals R squared. 61 equals R squared. And the square root of 61 equals your radius. So answer B was find the radius. If your answer is not an integer, express it in radical form. So answer B is the square root of 61. And part C, write an equation for the circle. So the equation of the circle is going to be x and the opposite of x at the center. So x plus 2 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals r squared, which is 61. All right, any questions? Any questions there? Three-step problem? It's the first time you've done one where you've just been given the coordinates of the uh, diameter. All right, number seven. Jewelry store buys small boxes in which to wrap items they sell. Diagram shows one of the boxes. Find the lateral area and the surface area of the box to the nearest whole number. All right, lateral area equals perimeter of the base times the height. Surface area equals lateral area plus two times the area of the base. So your lateral area is gonna be equal to the perimeter of the bottom of that box is going to be two tens and two eights, okay? So that's 20 and 16. So the perimeter is going to be 36. The height of that box is 1.71. So the lateral area is going to be equal to 36 times 1.71, which is 61.56. To the nearest whole number, we're going with 60, 62 there. So now your surface area is going to be 62 plus 2 times the area of the base. Well, the area of the base is 10 times 8. It's a rectangle, so it's length times width. So 10 times 8 is 80, so it's 2 times 80. So that's equal to 62 plus 2 times 80 in your calculator, 160. So 62 plus 160 is 221.6. No, I'm sorry, this has already been around. It's a 62 plus, it's 222, right? 
222. So here's your lateral area, here's your surface area. Number eight. All right, the answer on the study guide for number eight is incorrect. Here's the picture in number eight. got this is an 8 and 9 and 23. All right, and they're asking for lateral area and surface area. So the lateral area equals perimeter of the base times the height again. Now, this is a triangular prism. So your base is this triangle right here. And in order to find the perimeter of this triangle, you need this third side. You need the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So you need C. So again, you're going to do the Pythagorean theorem. You got 8 squared plus 9 squared equals C squared. So 64 plus 81 equals C squared. And 64 plus 81 is 145 equals c squared and the square root of that is 12.04 all right so <clears throat> the hypotenuse of this base is 12.04 so your perimeter is 8 plus 9 plus 12.04 Perimeter, 29.04. Height of the prism. The height of the prism is this 23. So your lateral area is equal to 29.04 times 23. 667.96. Round your answer to the nearest whole number. So we're going to go with 668. Surface area. Surface area equals the lateral area plus two times the area of the base. You know your lateral area is 668 plus two times area of the base. The base is a triangle. So your base, the area of your base is 0 0.5 times its base times its height. So the area of this red triangle is 0 0.5 times 8 times 9. And half of 8 is 4 times 9 is 36. So your big letter B is 36. And you get 668 plus 2 times 36. 2 times 36 is 72. 72 plus 668. 740. So here's your lateral area up here. And here's your total surface area, 740. Number nine. Number nine says the radius of the base of a cylinder is 25 and its height is 39. Find the surface area of the cylinder in terms of pi. So you got this cylinder.
that has a radius of 25. So your radius is 25. It says the height of the cylinder is 39. It also says to surface area in terms of pi. All right, well, if surface area equals the lateral area plus 2 times the area of the base, you have to find the lateral area anyway. And lateral area equals perimeter of the base times the height. In this case, your base is a circle. So the perimeter of the base, your big letter P, is going to be equal to 2 times pi times the radius, which is 25. So that's 50 pi. Your big letter P is 50 pi. Your height is 39. So your lateral area is 1950 pi. So if you go back up to the surface area formula and replace your lateral area with 1950 pi plus 2 times the area of the base. Well, the area of the base, the base is a circle, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So your big letter B, the area of the base is going to equal pi times radius squared. So it's going to be pi times 25 squared. And 25 squared, 625 pi. So your big letter B is 625 pi. So 2 times 625. That's 1250 pi plus 1950, 3200 pi is the surface area of that cylinder. And number 10. Number 10 asks you to find the center and radius of the circle with the equation x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 25. Well, if that's the equation, then the center is going to be at 1, 2. And the radius is going to be equal to the square root of 25, which is 5. <clears throat> and they ask you to graph the circle. Uh, on the graph that you're given, there is, or I'm, there's a coordinate plane on your study guide. Just make sure that you understand those units or each of those grid lines are two units. So be careful when you graph that thing. Your center is at 1, 2, so 1, 2 is right here. The radius is 5. So what you do is you're going to go 5 units vertical, 5 units above the center, 5 units below the center. Then you're going to go 5 units to the right of the center and 5 units to the left of the center. You're going to put those, you're going to plot those four points. So there's two, and another three will be about here, and about your graph is going to be exact because you've got grid lines on there. Once you plot your center, and then you plot four other points, then just the, to the best of your ability, just try to 
get a line into there. Ooh, that's bad. But you got graph paper, so. And there's the graph of x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 25. That concludes study guide number 12. There will be a multiple choice version, or there is a multiple choice version on headline in the study guide. Older.